Hey Aries, this is Star. A happy new year to you. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we're going to do the whole story reading for January 2021 and beyond. So you definitely want to keep uh, this reading handy and just refer back to it throughout the year because what I'm going to say is mostly going to be um, predictive. And so there are some things that I'm going to say that are not going to make sense right this moment, but you may see as time goes on that they do come true. So it is a general reading though. So some of the, what I say may resonate, other things may not. So let's get started here with the shuffle. Um, for those of you who are new to my channel, the whole story reading is where I go through the entire deck. So just sit back and listen. Let's see what we have for you, Aries, Aries, 2021. Aries, 2021, what do they need to know? What do they need to know? What can they expect? What can they look forward to? And one more shuffle. does take me a little while to get all the cards out so feel free to fast forward to the beginning of the reading okay so Aries I have to say, I, I see you a bit um, in your feelings, uh, not really not really all that happy. I feel like there's new beginnings here, um, the start of a new cycle for you, a change in direction, but it's it doesn't feel very pleasant. I feel like some of you may be coming out of like a tough ending. Okay. There's definitely a silver lining here though, because, so that may have been like a 2020 stuff that you went through that was quite difficult, but I, I'm feeling like the focus so far, I mean, I, I've just started, but I do feel as though the focus is a, a huge shift in energy to something more positive for you is what I'm seeing that you can expect coming in. Yeah. Okay, so I feel as though some of you may be getting out recently, have gotten out of a relationship or are going through that process. And I do see you sort of, I feel like a lot of you are going to be uh, focusing more on your career or just on your own self um, improvement, self care. Okay, let's take a look here. Yeah, so there was definitely, I'm seeing here, there was an ending that happened in your life or a complete transformation that made you feel um, insecure. Uh, it, 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 this may have come out of the blue. Um, brought about a lot of sadness. I feel like you saw somebody's ugly side, something that you really cared about. Yeah. Okay. And you were very distraught because they, you, you really, you either did a lot for this person or you had, you had put a lot into this situation and really never expected anything back. Um, perhaps that's what the problem actually was. Um, let's see here. Yeah, you definitely, I feel as though you did not want to walk away from the situation, but somebody gave you no other choice. Interesting. Yeah, I'm seeing you absolutely very sad. Um, 
I feel you may have been dealing with someone who's very selfish and they may have depleted your, your assets because it, I'm seeing a couple of indicators of that. I feel as though this decision that you made, very difficult decision to walk away from the situation, you had to make it in part because it was like for your own financial well-being. So this person may have been like taking money out of your bank account or, you know, maybe you had like a joint account and, and there was definitely like overspending here, irresponsibility when it comes to funds, but it's, it's as a result of somebody, somebody's selfishness. Um, and so you had to kind of let go of that, uh, regardless of how it made you feel. Yeah, there was some, like a sudden revelation or some sudden communication that came in, sudden news that shook your whole uh, world up. And this is um, directly related to, it's either like a, a, a romantic relationship, somebody that you've been involved with, or it's just somebody that you've known for quite a while. It could even be for some of you like siblings, um, old friends, something of that nature. But <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm sort of picking up. You guys may have gone through this, like I said, in 2020 and you're turning the corner or you are getting ready to do so. You're getting ready to feel you again, to feel more confident and to get out of your head, out of this feeling of like just not having control over your life or where it's going. Yeah, there's, there's like a shift. Um, it's almost as though, you know, you go through feeling the feels or whatever, but then you wake up one day and you're like, you know what? I have to get shit done and things need to change here. Yeah. And, and it's because, like I said, I, I feel as though this person depleted you financially, um, and you have bills to pay. So you really didn't even have the luxury of having the time of being in despair for too long is what I'm seeing here. You've had to get shit done. Yeah, so we have the lovers in reverse with the justice in reverse. So that could very well um, be an indicator of like a possible divorce or something of that nature. Um, also decisions, poor decision making here on someone's part. I feel like this is more so the other person. Yeah, you're letting go of all of the, the drama, the fighting. Couldn't do it anymore. You're, you were not going to move forward. I'm seeing love here, though. Now, this may be somebody, you know, coming into your life this year, but I see I see the possibility of someone here that you're going to meet that it can really have the potential to make you very happy. Um, but I feel as though there is going to be a period of uh, isolation or you just keep it to yourself for a while. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like you need to process. Look at this. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Nine of Cups in reverse. You need time um, to feel yourself again, like I said, to feel uh, the ability to be around other people and be happy. So you're waiting for new opportunities um, to get yourself together again. I do see you, if you guys are still going through the sadness or feeling sad or depressed, It's it, I, I see that dissipating. And because it's coming up so quickly in the reading, like I said, this, this reading is for January and beyond. So it could be January, it could be June, it could be December. You know, it just depends on you um, and your placements. But I feel as though it's going to be closer uh, toward the beginning of the year where you will start to feel a lot better, believe it or not. Um, I'm seeing here a renewed sense of like independence and, and, and uh, I feel like you, once you are able to just make your own decisions without having to worry about what somebody else is doing either to you or, you know, just on their own, um, I feel like you, you invest all of that energy that you had invested in other people or that one other person in yourself and it's absolutely that's really what pushes you over um you know to the other side and look at this two aces together this is absolutely like a healing um and then you you just have all of this energy to invest in something new new beginnings here all around so yeah it's uh, you know unfortunately you had this was really 
even though it was painful, it was really to your benefit because it, it, you needed to see who was really on your side and who wasn't. And I, I do feel that this period of time absolutely did that for you. Um, although there was a lot of resentment and stuff, but uh, I feel as though there was somebody around you who all they ever had was promises and you waited and waited for these this person to make good on these promises, but nothing, it, it never amounted to anything. It was just basically talk. You had a sweet talker. Um, that's, that's, that's what I see here. And that had to come crumbling down because it just was not real. It wasn't based on reality or anything solid. Yeah. So, yeah, I feel as though, you know, there was, um, either you were like checking up on this person or you were looking through documents, emails, or just simply observing behavior. And that is when, you know, that was like the straw that broke the camel's back because whatever it was that you saw or found out, you know, you, you kind of realized that you were just going to be better off on your own. Um, and this actually makes, you know, I feel for some of you who were married and you've gone through this with your spouse where, you know, you found, you realize that your spouse was just not somebody that you can count on and they were actually working against you. Um, I feel once you get out of that situation, what you feared most was like that your household. So maybe if you had children, you were fearing that uh, there would be instability in your household. Um, you were afraid whether or not you would be able to continue, like uh, continue with the same lifestyle. Okay. Uh, financially speaking. Um, but you are going to be quite surprised at what you're able to do. Um, there's going to be stability and then some, I feel like money may be coming in pretty quickly for you. There, there seems to be like, um, a pickup so that you may get like a promotion or, or just find a new opportunity, uh, a new money making venture, but it's going to be very quick. Yeah. See, look again, remember I told you, uh, here. Okay. So we had the lovers in reverse with the justice in reverse here. We have justice in reverse with the two of cups in reverse. So I do see. Um, a sort of uh, 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 dissolving of a relationship, specifically a marriage. For those of you who are married and are going through this situation, you're resonating with this. I see that, but I do feel that once that goes through, you may get like a large payout. I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing like a large sum of money coming to you and it comes very quick. Yes. Okay. So yeah, you're giving up on that liar in your life. The person who... Uh, depleted you of hope, really, uh, hope and peace. Um, all they did was play mind games with you. And uh, I'm seeing here that, that this is the end. And it's the end because you chose it to be the end. Because, you know, you, you decided to really take a look at the situation and realize that it's not the best for you, even though you wanted it to be. But I'm seeing you here realizing that it's just not. And, you know, it's in your best interest to move on. So that's what I'm seeing here so far for you, Aries. Again, this is for January 2021 and beyond. So this may resonate later on in the year. Let's see what else we have for you. Bear with me one moment. Try to do it as quick as I can here. Right. Okay, let's see, Aries. What else do we have? Yeah, so see, Magician and the Eight of Pentacles. Again, I, I'm seeing uh, new opportunities when it comes to your career or, the, or like an additional um, stream of income coming in. There's a lot of changes that um, you will be going through throughout the year. 
uh, it's important for you to, you know, trust your own logic and your own intuition so that you're not held back whenever, because um, I'm seeing here like um, opportunities being presented, but it's almost like you're, you doubt yourself, your own abilities. Um, and so that could hold you back. So just, you know, a heads up there. Yes, so I'm, I'm definitely seeing emotionally you're going to be <clears throat> purging, um, which is good. It's like you're you're working really hard here to leave the baggage behind and not take it with you into the new year. Um, it, it's going to take work, though, obviously, because there's some major shifts happening, like I said, major changes. Um, I definitely don't see, though, if, uh, if, if financial matters have been a concern to you, I don't really see you having financial issues. Um, but I do feel that that's what kind of um, worries you most, okay? Um, I'm, I, I feel here, you know, maybe you're the type of person who is very much about logic and what makes sense and um, tried and true, uh, you know, whatever processes or whatever but I, I, I'm seeing here that you're kind of letting go of that uh, or you will be okay you're going to be relying more on intuition your inner knowledge uh, that type of thing and, and allowing you you your um, your emotions even to guide you more so than than your logic uh, which it may be because nothing is really logical right now. Whatever it is that you're going through is, is not exactly logical. You can't make heads or tails of it the way that you normally would. Um, so yes, I, I, I see a lot of changes in your, in your, I don't want to say mind, it's not mindset, it's it's just changes in like your day-to-day -day habits and in, in your way of doing things, okay, if that makes sense to you. Okay, let's see. It's all about endings and new beginnings. I mean, we have this magician, which is the number one of the major arcana, clarified by the Ten of Swords. So yes, there is a painful ending that you have, I feel like most of you have gone through it already. So the ending most likely has already happened. And now you are just manifesting your new reality, your new future. This is what you will be working on. I feel as though, you know, you, you are growing very much so like spiritually. Okay. So that's why you're, you're a lot more connected to your intuition and whatnot, N not relying so much on, on logic anymore, because there, there seems to have been like a, a growth, a spiritual growth that has happened here because I feel as though before you were doing things sort of by the book, you know, whatever you thought was right or whatever you were taught was right um and that's what i'm getting as far as like the remember i was struggling over here with finding the words but it, it's like however you were raised to be you're changing that you're you're not going along with that anymore because you've done that in the past and it did not work out for you and so you are going to go more with uh, your gut with your intuition what your instincts are telling you Uh, 
I'm getting here that um, just interpersonal relationships are going to be a challenge for you this year. Um, I also feel, though, that uh, this is not just you. Uh, so uh, I did mention that I see you having a concern, like financial concerns going forward, you know, in the future. Am I going to be able to make ends meet, that kind of thing? But I feel like there's somebody... This could be if you if you guys are you know separating from someone, it could be your spouse, this other person. But there's somebody around you that feels very much overwhelmed um, with having to have a new beginning and not having you there as like their backup. So it's almost as though somebody wants to hold on to you, but for the wrong reason. So okay, so let's say you are going through a breakup and this person. They, they're communicating with you um, from a very like emotional level you know they're they're really trying to get you back sweet talk you tell you how much you know they appreciate you now and they love you and not necessarily that it's not true but it's definitely motivated by fears that are that are material based yeah yeah I, I'm, I'm getting somebody's uh, motivation is is it, it, it's it's not very honest what their ag agenda is yeah absolutely with the moon being there and judgment being in reverse it, it's like they're acting out of fear and um, they're just not being honest with you. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody here dragging their feet like they do not. You're 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 like having to take somebody out, kicking and screaming. They do not want to leave your life. So emotions and so love and and like logic and all of this is becoming like intertwined, right? But it's it's almost used as a game as a because uh, they know that you have love for them as well obviously you shared a relationship so there's clearly love there on both sides but it's almost as though as though somebody's using that as a weapon so they're they're mixing mixing it all up to their advantage but you already know this Aries um, it's like you're watching them do it yeah absolutely absolutely i feel as though you you needed to lose control of the situation completely so that you can gain a different perspective and see things for what they really are and that's where your intuition grew um even more so and your intuition is definitely telling you to move on from this person that I feel like this moving on process has been in a, in the works for a while but you're finally able to let go and um, allow for this cycle to continue. Uh, somebody's lies are coming out into the open and they won't be able to defend them. Now, this could be you, but I don't feel that it is. I feel like it's somebody else around you who has been lying. Um, I feel as though you have been a very nurturing person to them or you just have been like a sort of caregiver so this could be anyone it could be an ex-partner a partner that you're still with that you're breaking up with whoever it is a child a sibling somebody that you have nurtured or taken care of that is ending <laughs> that's not going to happen anymore because you saw that this person was like really just holding you back in your own success um, and so, yeah, your new normal is, is not going to be like people who maybe talked to you a year ago and they haven't spoken to you since they're going to notice a huge difference in who you are today. It, it, yes, absolutely. Um, <laughs> look at this card in this deck, um, this knight of wands which I, I i feel like this is your energy it's called the fire starter and that's actually exactly right the, the energy that i'm picking up for you is like you're starting this new fire um this new way of life and it's very much based on your own knowledge your own intuition you're not going off of 
you know, how you were raised, your old mindset, it, it, you know, that just did not work for you. You see, in the past, we have the Six of Cups, which speaks of the past, your past experiences clarified by the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So clearly you invested a lot into some past situations that ended up not working out and you're learning from those mistakes. There, there is a, a higher level of awareness and knowledge here. Um, and you know what not to invest in anymore because the secret is out. Yeah. So see, look, seven of swords in reverse. So some, some kind of deception, which we have here with the page of wands in reverse. Here we have this clarified by the Knight of Wands in reverse, which, uh, you know, again, it's somebody who can be very reckless, impulsive. Um, this could be somebody who has no loyalty, you know, so wherever there's a good time, that's where there'll be, regardless of how you feel about it. And yeah, it's definitely, <laughs> I see this as... Um, they may not want to leave you, but they are more of a burden uh, to you than, than anything else at this point. So this, uh, this new start, this new beginning, it's going to happen. I see that you are wanting it to happen now. In the past, I feel you were fighting for it not to, not to occur. But now I see you on board. I do see, however, resistance from another person. Yeah, so decisions are going to be made without them, okay? Yes. Okay. So any obstacles that you um, encounter. So if this person tries to stop you from leaving um, through any means, you know, you are going to be successful at overcoming. Yeah, I, I do see you absolutely getting out of a relationship this year, a lot of you. And wow. Well, okay. Yeah. You know, I feel that um, you are definitely confronting this person or people, whoever you're encountering or have in your life that has been lying or manipulating you. You're saying it all. You're putting it all on the table. I feel like before maybe you bit your tongue a lot or you, um, you know, for the sake of keeping the peace, would just keep quiet about it. I don't see that happening anymore. You're definitely following through. Um, with what, what they may think are just empty threats. They're not empty threats. Um, you're, you're ready to go. You're ready to tell people what's what. Um, and this is going to be like your healing process. Okay. This is going to be what is needed for you to be able to finally move on, but with, with peace in your heart, you know, without, um, resentment or anything like that, because then that's just, going to hold you back even more. So I do see a huge, huge healing uh, for you, Aries, this year. So let's see, what do we have for Aries? Mm -hmm. We have communicate clearly. That's exactly what I was seeing here is you communicating very clearly what your, what your deal breakers are. And, and that is happening here. Let's see. What are the messages do we have for Aries for January 2021 and beyond? What do they need to know? Let's see one more. What do they need to know? Aries, what does Aries need to know January 2021 and beyond? Okay, so we have that communicate clearly. The next card that fell out was take action. And yes, with the exclamation point. So yes, if you're doubting whether or not you should take this action or say exactly what you feel, don't doubt it. Don't doubt yourself. Your intuition is on point. Whatever it is you feel you need to take action on, you need to take action on it. It's time. This is the year to do it. And you will be just fine. You have nothing to worry about. You're doing, you're going to be doing just fine financially and whatnot, standing on your own two feet. So Aries, congratulations. I wish you all the best and I'll see you soon. Bye.